Good morning, hot dogs. Happy Tuesday. Nata! Um, marching band and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Prom is coming up very soon. This year the theme is a chanted evening. It will be held on Saturday, April 13th at 8 p.m. The location is the Clinton County Fairgrounds. The cost is $25 per ticket right now, so get them quick before the price increases on the last two days of sale. Remember that you need to have a signed parental permission slip before you can purchase tickets. You can grab your slips and tickets at the bookstore. Mark all your cal calendars, guys. The spring musical is coming up soon. The show is Guys and Dolls. The show dates are April 24th, 26th, and 27th. The show is at 7 p.m. You might even possibly see me on stage. So come out and support the theater department. The cost of the tickets are $5 for students and $10 for adults. Hope to see you all there. Anyone who is interested in being the drum major of the hot dog marching band should attend tryouts after school today, Thursday and next Tuesday. The winner of our Hot Dog Network Bracket Challenge was Carson Hale. Congrats on being the Hot Dog Network champ. That's all I have, now to sports. Yo, thanks Evans, and good morning dogs. Looks like today we have a bunch of sports action going on. So first, we'll be talking about girls tennis. That will be starting here at 4.30, home. We also have Frankfurt opening the season at Harrison Invitational on Saturday. Coaches McKenzie and Kelly were pleased with the positive atmosphere the team generated in this first outing. Dogs placed 13th with a team score of 376 of 18 teams entered. The invitation was won by highly ranked Brownsburg with a score of 292. Frankfurt scored Charlie Beardsley with 90, Jackson Ray with 98, Harrison Kiger with 104, Luke Beardsley with 105, and Dylan Garrison with 106. Today, the golf team will be traveling to Cool Lake to face up against the Western Boone Stars. Hope you guys be getting them whole in once. We also got softball traveling to Lebanon Tigers doing a double header due to the weather. And we'll be starting at 5.30. We also got track traveling to North Montgomery at 5.30. And lastly, the varsity baseball team defeated Clinton Prairie last Saturday with a 10-0 to move to 4-0 on the season. Oscar Lopez, Carlos Lopez, Alex Lopez, and Matthew Berry combined for the sh shut shutout. Lala Castillo led the offense with three hits. And today, they will be traveling to Lebanon at 6, and JV is here at home at 6 as well. Well, that is all for sports, and make sure to pop out for any of these sports, and good luck to those competing. Now I'm going to send it to Birch with weather. Yo, thanks Brian, and I hope you all had a warm three-day weekend and a spectacular review of yesterday's solar eclipse. The 2024 solar eclipse was an event that millions of people across the United States gathered around their local businesses, parks, and city halls to watch the moon's path perfectly correlate with the sun, creating a massive black circle in the sky with a glowing aura. The sun's rays lit up the skyline with almost a pitch black sky when you look directly up. I hope lots of you got the chance to see and witness totality because it is truly a once in a lifetime spectacle. That's enough yapping about yesterday and now for today's weather forecasts. Today we're expecting to see mostly sunny skies with just a couple of clouds thrown into the mix. And today's high is expected to reach a nice and comfy 71 degrees with a slight breeze of around 8 to 10 miles per hour. On that note, make sure to get outside while it's warm and I'm really hoping that this weather is going to stick around. And on the flip side for the evening, temperatures are expected to drop all the way down to a chilly 48 degrees. So if you're out at all tonight, I at least advise you wear a hoodie. That's going to conclude my yap session for this part of the weather. Now I'm going to send it to Ellen Irwin for the second half. Did you enjoy the clips on Monday with those somewhat cool glasses, but now you don't know what to do with them? Bring them into Mr. Field. Bring them into Mr. Field's class so he can ship them to a company that will send them to South America for their annular solar eclipse in October. Get them to him by Friday so they can be sent out next week. For today's lunch, we'll be having cheeseburgers with french fries and in lines, one, three, in lines three and four, we're having pepperoni bosco sticks 
And today's birthday wishes goes out to Juliana Moctezuma Valdez, Isela Rascon Gonzalez, and happy birthday, hot dogs. That's it for the morning announcements. We hope you guys have a terrific Tuesday.